Hi friends. Well, it's still another rainy, cold, and windy day in Oregon. The good news is that we'll be heading south soon. The deal is that I have to stay in Oregon until Halloween because I go to my daughter's house and trick-or-treat and she's got the best candy bowl in the neighborhood. So I'm sitting here uh, thinking, well, I need to put out a video tomorrow morning. And what will I do? Nothing exciting has been going on. Uh, we're going to work on my Suzuki today because it's got a vibration at about 55 miles an hour and we think it's a motor mount. But that's not my kind of video. If you want to know about fixing a motor mount on a 1989 Suzuki, well, leave me a comment and I'll tell you about that. But I like telling stories. So today I went through uh, my hard drive. I have a 2 terabyte uh, hard drive that has all of the pictures and video that I've taken for years and years. So I've got enough material there to pick out some pictures and some videos and tell stories for years. That may be good news. That may be bad news. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just heard Lynn groan. <laughs> it's bad news for her because she's heard all these stories before. That's why I started a YouTube channel. I needed a new audience. I've said this before in a video. You know, you tell the same old stories to the same old friends and the same old family for years and years, and pretty soon they start correcting you. Not only that, they moan and groan a lot because, oh no, geez, how many times do I have to listen to this story? <laughs> Stop laughing over there. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> I, you know what? I got a lot of pictures today uh, off of my hard drive that I'm going to put together and tell little stories about. And some of them are about her. So I'm going to get even because wait till you see... And I'm going to put it at the end of the video so you have to watch the whole no. thing. Wait till you see no. Lynn riding the donkey. Oh, no, not that one. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. So this is Lynn that's going to ride the donkey later. I'll just throw a picture of her in here every once in a while to keep you entertained because sometimes my stories get boring. So this first picture is from when we were doing the construction on our house in Mexico. And uh, I'll put a card up here for that construction project if you're interested in how to build a house, a casa, in Mexico. So uh, the welder who came to weld a rebar across the beams because you have to secure the beams when you put the Boveda brick ceiling in there. The welder was late that day, and I had plans to go to the movies with my friend Jack. But I told uh, Jesus that I'd hang around and I didn't have to go to the movies, and he said, Oh, that's okay. Uh, I've been building houses for 30 years, and uh, Danny the welder, you know, he's been a welder for 15 years. We can handle this. You go ahead and go to the movies. So I did. I went to the movies, and the next morning, here's what I found that they had done welding the rebar across the beams. Now, if you look at this very closely, you'll see that this is about, uh, oh, it's 12 to 14 feet off the ground. So you have to have scaffolding to get up there to weld that piece of rebar across the beams and from one to the other to keep them from moving. But look real closely. The rebar goes through the scaffolding. We had to cut the rebar to get the scaffolding down. Oh yeah, I've been building houses for 30 years and I've been a welder for 15 years. <laughs> I laughed and laughed and laughed. I'm still laughing. <laughs> Those guys are never going to live that one down. 46 years I've had to look at that smile. And there's stuff going on behind that smile too. One day we decided we'd share a Hershey bar. So when I got over to the kitchen to find my half, here's what I found. One of my favorite Mexican foods is chili rellenos, and one day I decided that I was going to make my own. So 
I roasted the peppers and put them in a paper bag and got the skins all off and you've got to dip it in an egg batter and then cook it and put cheese in it and it just turned in to be a lot more work than I ever thought it would be. So I decided to simplify the process. And what I did was, instead of stuffing the peppers with the cheese, I just took the batter and made pancakes and then I layered it up. So a layer of cheese and a layer of peppers and a layer of the pancake batter and then the sauce and layered it up like that and I called it chili relleno casserole. This is one of the versions. One day, we decided to invite a Mexican friend. We were staying at a place in Ajiji called Casa de Abuela, and the abuela, the grandmother, was Teresa. So we invited Teresa over for chili rellenos. <laughs> Her comment upon seeing this was, Don't look like no chili rellenos I ever saw before. Seashells, rocks, fish bones, and art projects. Her thing for a long time. My neighbor has a starfruit tree. It's uh, kind of a citrusy, tart taste. We use it for agua frescas and put it in fruit salad. Long hair and looking for bugs for our son, Peter. Ten years later and still smiling. No, I... <laughs> now I'm not taking a video for the whole ride. Huh? <laughs> Huh? No, I gotta get a picture of these guys over here who think you're. Well, Tanta! Tanta! <laughs> okay, that's enough. This is one of my t shirts from Mexico that I'm always wearing. It's from Rincon de Guayabitos. And I'm not going to explain the rest of this video. Except to say that every Thanksgiving, our volleyball club would charter a 44-passenger bus and go to the Pacific coast of Mexico for Thanksgiving. If you want to know what's going on here, you're just going to have to go to Rincón de Guayabitos and figure it out for yourself because I am not going to explain this. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up, and please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.